in my life. Alright, hang on, guys. Hey, guys. Just doing a setup for these girls. If I can get out the focus. Sick. I'll get up the focus. <sighs> yeah, hey, young guys. That's better. So, these girls have just not long got into about six workers. I've been digging at the wall to get out. So, I am going to build them, not build them, put together just a little, little setup for them to start off to dig in and all that. Recently, just got soil to put in there. So, I'll start off. With a 1.3 litre container, I might have rocks for a false floor, just for the drainage layer. I have a bag of all-purpose potting, not potting mix, but garden soil mix, which is just dirt and com uh, pretty much bark and that. So no fertilizers, nothing harmful in there for the ants. Um, and then we'll add in some smaller features. Oh, I have a few rocks and shells. Maybe bigger rocks. And I will eventually find some wood stick in there. Just something from the climb on. And run around on. So first of all, I will put in some bigger rocks on the bottom layer, just to help that drainage. Which I need to get more of. Yeah. Let's adjust that. Focus again. Better. So. The setups I do for digging. I always leave a bit of a. Maybe about three or four centimeters deep. Maybe two. of the drainage layer. That'll do. Okay. Just open my bag of soil. I'll just grab some gloves. I do have a cleanup crew coming eventually. Just waiting for that to turn up. So once I get them, I'll add that to it. So that's all it is. Just straight up bark. Enough for them to dig in and have their way with it. about 
though. Nice, nice layer. Saw them. So you're looking about. That much. I'll give it a quick spray. Um, before I do that, let's grab some paper towel, tissue, whatever. Get that a bit of a try. We'll do a oil base barrier. As I found that works best at the moment until I can get flew on. Oh, where are I? That's sitting right now. So I have that here. A bit of just pure vegetable oil. Olive oil is just as good, but vegetable oil is cheaper. And does the exact same job. around. I've already pre-holed drills in the lid. I like using these containers because they clip on a bit more secure for the ants. I'll stop them from getting out. That one. Turn that back. Turn that one that way. Uh, also, don't forget to clean up just any excess. So, where's that? Oh. Bit of tissue gone. Did I throw up? I did. Let's grab another cotton ball. So just give it a once over, not just a once over, but a bit of a wipe down. Pick up any excess oil. Back on that. Uh, okay, so we'll put. Shell back into there. Just look pretty. What do you have? Heaps of these rocks. So, I'm get my hand with them. Leave room for the test tube to go in. Um, Got a bit of bark here that I can put in there just to give them some sort of woodish stuff. Next thing's next. I will add the yeah, ants. It's time for these lovely girls to go in and explore their new home.
can explore. much gone then. Bring me down closer. That focus back up. Once they're comfortable, I'll change the test tube to a smaller one just for water, and hopefully they were in digging soon and enjoying their new home. I'll post a new update next week on how these girls are going. I don't know if anything has changed. I'll also keep these updated on so if you want my other queens that I've got there that have still got pupae. So once they start I will have to start setting up setups for them. I will also be doing a, another clip for my big tank that I've got sitting there. Just gotta pull it up, uh, redo it, pull out some of the sand, add in some soil and we set it up and I'll be moving one of my colonies into there. They are finally getting big enough, roughly about 50 plus workers. So they are getting big enough to be taking out of that little vest setup and put into an actual aquarium tank. I will, uh, I'll be doing one upload plus one feeding upload a week of my colonies. If you'd like seeing this colony, hit the like and subscribe button for more rank keeping videos. Also, if you'd like to join in on this journey and be a part of the ant keeping family, I have a Patreon page that will be posting updates and upcoming projects on. I will post that link in the description. So please come down and support. It would be much appreciated. Thank you.